All right, guys, welcome back to another episode here on Grow the Earth. And I'm glad that, we could, that you could join me today because I got something very, very special for you guys. Something I actually got very excited about. Now, it's not the sad excuse for squash plants that are right here in front of me, but it's actually what resides on them and a way that you're gonna be able to get rid of those things in your garden. And now, if you're not quite sure what I'm talking about, I'm talking about like that little guy right there on that leaf, that little guy right there on that leaf. These guys here, bugs like that. And unfortunately, these plants have been just invaded with these guys. And now usually you know you find them because you go in and you move your plants and they just start coming out of the woodwork. See like this guy here. Um, usually you know that you've got them because you'll either see them on your squash plants or you see them on uh, particularly your tomatoes or even possibly green beans or cucumbers or something like that. And what they usually do is they have a, a little, uh, uh, it's, it's a nose or a proboscis that they actually push into either the plant or more than likely the fruit and they suck juice out of it. And basically all they do is eat and breed. And they can, in, they can decimate an area uh, of squash plants, tomato plants, cucumber plants very, very quickly. Uh, the other bad part is, is they usually spread disease this way. So if you happen to have a little bacterial wilt on one plant, they will spread that to your other plants before you can say don't do it. Because as they put that proboscis into your plant, they're going to invariably get that bacteria or that disease or whatever it may be that's on that one plant. And then they're going to fly to another plant and they're going to fly to another plant and they're going to spread that disease throughout your whole crop. Now, a lot of people call these different things. Uh, some people call them squash bugs. Uh, some people call them leaf-footed bugs. There's quite a d few different things that people call them, but they all amount to about the same, the same bug. Now, this is quite different from your squash vine borer, which is actually a moth. Uh, I don't know if what I'm gonna tell you today is gonna work on those, but I can tell you that this product is gonna work on these. Now, what we got here, is I have a just run-of-the-mill spray bottle that I have filled up with this product. And the people who market this do not market this for squash bugs or leaf-footed bugs or any of that in your garden, but what they do market it for is actually inside of your home. They market it for you know ants, ticks, spiders, cockroaches, uh, uh, just just a, a multitude of different bugs and in seeing it I'm like well a cockroach is very close to what we're dealing with here it, it has a hard shell to it hard to kill with most anything that is not a you know a, a an insecticide that is going to harm other things and this is actually an all-natural product um, Basically, it's essential oils with some soaps added to it and uh, uh, a couple of suffocants which are going to help not only it mix with water, but also is going to act as a carrier for those, those oils to, to get into the bodies of these pests. Now, this is not a broad spectrum uh, product. In other words, you don't go through and mix this up and spray it over your whole, your whole crop. This is a spot treatment. So you're gonna mix it into a spray bottle and you're gonna spray it directly on your pest. And, you know, surprisingly enough, this has killed these squash bugs. I've always been able to kill the, the leaf-footed nymph bugs, the little soft-bodied ones, but the hard-bodied adults were always just terrible to kill. And in our garden, we try not to use anything that is you know, a long-lasting harsh chemical that is going to, 
you know, harm uh, the water, harm, uh, you know, frogs or, or anything like that. Um, and usually most of those products, unfortunately, are going to be bad for your bees, which is something that we promote to bring into our garden as our bees because they're going to help pollinate everything and they're going to help make our, our, our crops more fruitful. And not only that, if you kept up with anything as far as bees go, they are in danger of dying. Uh, not only our honeybees, which are, import, were, are, are an import basically, that have been domesticated here in the United States, uh, henceforth a European honeybee, but also our native bees are dying from the same things. You know, all these big farm croppers that are spraying pesticides all over their crops the bees get a hold of this and it will kill them and not only they can bring it back to their hive and kill their hive. So I'm always glad to find a product that is not going to harm these, these uh, the bees, but is also gonna do, be an effective product to get out there to you guys. And I think I finally found something that is going to do that, do it safely, and something that I usually don't bring products like this to my channel because Unless I can stand behind it and I could firmly believe that it was going to help you and do what it was supposed to do, I wouldn't promote it. And I'm not getting paid for any of this. This is just a product that I found I paid good money out of my pocket for and I found it to be such a great product I want to bring it to you guys. And I want you guys to be able to reap the benefits of this because, you know, dealing with these bugs is a, war, you know, a nationwide problem and I you know, I want to be able to, to bring the relief that I found whenever I saw these adults dying. That, you know, something that we can finally get rid of these bugs with to the masses, to whoever's watching my channel. So, we're just going to simply find our bugs. Now, the good thing is, is if you come through and you're watering your garden, that's usually we're gonna find them because when you get them wet, the first thing they do is they head for high ground in order to dry off. So if you're coming through watering your garden, after you spray down this area, they're going to be real easy to spot because they're all going to come up to the top of the leaves. And I've actually got one right here in front of me, and I'm going to bring, them in, I'm going to bring you in closer and let you watch what happens. Now guys, this is not planned. I just so happen to look over and see this little guy staring me right in the face. And we've got our little bottle of spray in my right hand here and we're just going to spray him. Now, you don't have to necessarily, uh, you know, drown them in it, but you want to make sure that they're sufficiently wet. Now, this is a leaf-footed bug, and you'll see that he's kind of wandering around aimlessly. Um, you know, anybody who's ever dealt with these bugs, they usually, uh, pretty much whenever you try and spray them with something, they're gonna fly off. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but that bug is already dead. In 20 seconds, it has killed that bug. Now, you just watched a live demonstration of how well this product works. And that bug is dead, dead on a doornail, and it all happened within about 20 seconds. Now, I've already tried the pyrethrine pyrethrins and the other things that uh, your insecticidal soaps and all that and those work really well for the soft-bodied young adolescents the the smaller you know little baby baby ones works just fine for those but the adults always seem to survive when I would use one of those broad spectrum uh, chemicals so now I'm going to reveal to you exactly what this is now I've done some research and found that there's not a lot of people that have discovered what this product is. So this is a concentrate guys, and it is 3.7 ounces. Now if you want to mix this to the correct strength, you need a bottle with 27 ounces of water in it and this whole bottle. Or if you're like me and you've got a smaller bottle, you mix half of this with 13 ounces of water. Now again, the name of the product is Bug MD. It is an essential pest control meant for ants, ticks, fleas, bed bugs, mites, roaches, spiders, and flies. 
Again, they do not promote this for spraying your garden and for it to be for your squash bugs or your leaf-footed bugs, but I can tell you, and I've shown you, that it works. Now, this bottle's a little pricey. They're actually running a sale right now. Uh, this is July 5th. They just had a sale to where I got these, I got two of these bottles essentially for $10 a piece. Now, again, pricey, but you pay for what works. Now, I noticed that multiple times that I'm not being sponsored for this, but I'll tell you what, BugMD, if you want to reach out to me and if you want to sponsor me, I am all for it. I will be, definitely be a spokesman for your product because I can see the results and I can see that it works. And I know that this product is something that the world needs to know about if it's not out there yet. So guys, I appreciate you joining me today. I just wanted to bring this to you and I want to bring it to you as fast as I can. I got a bottle of that two days ago. I've since ordered two more bottles that I'm gonna keep in my little arsenal of stuff to spray on, you know, on my plants. Um, you know, of course, we'll, we'll keep the other things, you know, the, uh, the other products that we use that are good for our caterpillars and different things like that. But that, for spot treatment for these squash bugs and these leaf-footed bugs, is a godsend. Guys, I want to thank you for joining me today. As always, I ask you to pray over your family, pray over your garden, and have a great day.